cell mediated and combined immunodeficiency disorders. In this uh, category, we have got Viscott Aldrich syndrome, which is a very important one, especially for the INI pattern, INI CT pattern, ataxia telangiectasia, SCID or severe combined immunodeficiency, hyper IG syndrome, and Dijord syndrome. So, these are some of the disorders where there is a cell mediated and combined immunodeficiency disorder. Okay. Now, first, Viscott Aldrich syndrome. So, we know Viscott Aldrich syndrome again has what kind of inheritance? It has got X linked recessive inheritance because here the VASP gene on X chromosome is mutated and causing the problem. Now, normally this VASP gene, which is there on the short arm of X chromosome, what is the function of VASP gene? Let us see. VASP gene normally produces this Viscott Aldrich syndrome protein or VASP protein. Now, if this VASP gene is mutated, there will be reduced synthesis of the VAS protein or the Viscott Aldrich syndrome protein. There will be reduced synthesis. Now, what is the function of this Viscott Aldrich syndrome protein? So, this Viscott Aldrich syndrome protein helps in, you know, actin cytoskeleton remodeling that is happening. Okay. Now, reduced VAS protein synthesis will lead to impaired actin cytoskeleton remodeling. Okay, during cell division. So, this remodeling will not take place properly and there will be impaired immune cell function. There will be impaired chemotaxis and phagocytosis. So, chemotaxis and phagocytosis is impaired, there will be immunodeficiency in the child. Now, the, if you talk about the clinical features of Viscott Aldrich syndrome, there is a typical triad of findings, three things that are seen. One is recurrent infections, we already talked about it. Another is eczema or skin rash, atopic like rash, okay, eczema or skin rashes and the third thing is thrombocytopenia. Now, because it is X-linked recessive inheritance, obviously it is more common in boys. So, you can get recurrent infections, eczema or skin rashes and purpura due to thrombocytopenia or bleeding manifestations because of thrombocytopenia. Investigation findings, what do you get? The platelet counts will be low and you have small size platelet. That means, Microthrombocytes. Can you appreciate these small, small platelets? Lesser in number also, lesser in size also. Micro means lesser size. Thrombocytopenia is, you know, a less number. And IgM level will be low. IgE and A will be elevated. So, that is the typical investigation finding that you get. The confirmatory diagnosis, of course, will be by looking at the VAS gene mutation. Okay, Viscott Aldrich syndrome protein gene mutation, right? Moving on to ataxia telangiectasia. The name itself is telling you two important features of this disorder. One is ataxic gait, another is telangiectasia or dilated blood vessels. Now, what is the pathophysiology? So, here the gene responsible is the ATM gene, not the ATM machine. It is the ATM gene on chromosome 11, long arm, you can see the ATM gene, right? Now, what is the function of this ATM gene? ATM gene uh, produces the ATM protein. And what does this ATM protein do? We will see in a while. But what happens in ataxia telangiectasia is due to a mutation in the ATM gene, there is defective ATM protein that is formed. Okay. Now, let us see what is the function of this ATM protein. Now, this you can see is a double-stranded DNA. Can you see this is a double-stranded DNA? Now, what happens is when there is a break in the double-stranded DNA, okay, double-stranded DNA break, then the body has to repair it. Or, you know, the body has to just get rid of it by apoptosis. It cannot keep a repair, uh, you know, a broken DNA strand. So, what is the function of ATM protein? So, here the ATM protein steps in and it activates the P53. It activates P53 protein. And then what happens? Either DNA repair happens or apoptosis happens. Now, what will happen if this ATM protein is defective? Then the P53 will not get activated and neither DNA repair nor apoptosis is going to happen and these double stranded DNA breaks will remain as such and will increase the risk of cancers, right? So, that is what is happening, accumulation of damaged cells in ataxia telangiectasia. Moreover, this defective ATM gene, you know, will also lead to abnormal VDJ recombinations and will give impaired B cell and T cell receptors. So, B cell receptor and T cell receptor both are impaired. So, there will be immunodeficiency, increased chances of sinopulmonary infections. 
So there will be a family history might be positive because it also has got autosomal recessive inheritance. And as we already mentioned, there will be a taxi. You can see that the person is swaying from side to side. They can be oculocutaneous still angiectasia. So you can see dilated blood vessels in the conjunctiva. And sometimes on the skin also, you can see some dilated blood vessels, right? And with age, you know, these changes appear. They might not be present in the early childhood. Immunodeficiency will lead to recurrent infections. There will be increased sensitivity to ionizing radiation and effective DNA repair. And we already mentioned there will be an increased risk of malignancies in these individuals. The diagnosis is by low IgA, IgE and IgG2 levels.